We have one more question from Ken Bone about uh, energy policy. Ken? What steps will your energy policy take to meet our energy needs while at the same time remaining environmentally friendly and minimizing job loss for fossil power plant workers? Mr. Trump, two minutes. Absolutely. I think it's such a great question because energy is under siege by the Obama administration, under absolute siege. The EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, is killing these energy companies. And foreign companies are now coming in, buying our buying so many of our different plants, and then rejiggering the plant so that they can take care of their oil. We are killing, absolutely killing, our energy business in this country. Now, I'm all for alternative forms of energy, including wind, including solar, etc. But we need much more than wind and solar. And you look at our miners. Hillary Clinton wants to put all the miners out of business. There is a thing called clean coal. Coal will last for a thousand years in this country. Now we have natural gas and so many other things because of technology. We have unbelievable, we have found over the last seven years, we have found tremendous wealth right under our feet. So good, especially when you have 20 trillion in debt. I will bring our energy companies back. They'll be able to compete. They'll make money. They'll pay off our national debt. They'll pay off our tremendous budget deficits, which are are tremendous, but we are putting our energy companies out of business. We have to bring back our workers. You take a look at what's happening to steel and the cost of steel and China dumping vast amounts of steel all over the United States, which essentially is killing our steel workers and our steel companies. We have to guard our energy companies. We have to make it possible. The EPA is so restrictive that they are putting our energy companies out of business. And all you have to do is go to a great place like West Virginia or places like Ohio, which is phenomenal, or places like Pennsylvania, and you see what they're doing to the people, miners and others in the energy business. It's a disgrace. Your time is up. Thank you, it's sir. It's an absolute disgrace. And actually, Secretary, Secretary Clinton, two minutes. Well, that was very interesting. Um, first of all, China is illegally dumping steel in the United States, and Donald Trump is buying it to build his buildings, putting steel workers and American steel plants out of business. That's something that I fought against as a senator, and that I would have a, a trade prosecutor to make sure that we don't get taken advantage of by China on steel or anything else. You know, because it sounds like you're in the business or you're aware of people in the business, you know that we are now for the first time ever energy independent. We are not dependent upon the Middle East, but the Middle East still controls a lot of the prices. So the price of oil has been way down, and that has had a damaging effect on a lot of the oil companies, right? We are, however, producing a lot of natural gas, which serves as a bridge to more uh, renewable fuels, and I think that's an important uh, transition. We've got to remain energy independent. It gives us much more power and freedom than to be worried about what goes on in the Middle East. We have enough worries over there without having to worry about that. So I have a comprehensive energy policy, but it really does include fighting climate change because I think that is a serious problem. And I support moving toward more clean, renewable energy as quickly as we can. Uh, because I think we can be the 21st century clean energy superpower and create millions of new jobs and businesses. But I also want to be sure that we don't leave people behind. That's why I'm the only candidate from the very beginning of this campaign who had a plan to help us revitalize coal country. Because those coal miners and their fathers and their grandfathers, they dug that coal out. A lot of them lost their lives. They were injured but they turned the lights on and they powered our factories. I don't want to walk away from them, so we've got to do something for them. Secretary but Clinton. the price of coal is down worldwide. So we have to look at this comprehensively, and up. that's exactly what I have proposed. I hope you will go to HillaryClinton.com, and we have, have my we have entire policy. One we more have audience question.